हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल आज हम पढ़ने जा रहे हैं लाइट रिफ्लेक्शन एंड रिफ्रैक्शन सम पार्ट ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन व्हाट इज रिफ्लेक्शन एंड व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन एंड स्पेरिकल मिरर्स इट्स इट इज गोइंग टू बी अ क्विक वीडियो अबाउट व्हाट आर यू गोइंग टू स्टडी इन रिफ्लेक्शन इन शॉर्ट तो आपको शॉर्ट वीडियोस में ऐसी सीरीज बन रही है जो आपको हेल्प करेगी इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट्स इन अ वेरी शॉर्ट टाइम क्विक रिव्यू और आप ये यूज कर सकते हो फॉर आपका रिवीजन तो चलते हैं आगे बढ़ते हैं तो रिफ्लेक्शन कॉन्सेप्ट यू ऑल हैव स्टडीड रिफ्लेक्शन स्टडी नहीं किया हो तो देखा तो पक्का ही होगा अगर आप लाइट एक टॉर्च लेते हो आप उसको मिरर पे आप अगर इंसिडेंट करते हो अगर आप मिरर पे उसको लगाते हो तो क्या होता है लाइट वापस आ जाता है आपके पास दैट मींस व्हेन यू इंसिडेंट अ लाइट ऑन अ सरफेस व्हिच इज अ प्लेन और अ स्मूथ सरफेस इट इज कमिंग बैक टू योर आईज मींस इट इज गेटिंग रिफ्लेक्टेड सो बाउंसिंग बैक ऑफ अ लाइट इन द सेम मीडियम वी कॉल दैट फिनोमिन एज रिफ्लेक्शन सो दिस इज योर रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्फेस which is a plane or a smooth surface or polished surface in which whatever light you are incidenting on jo bhi light aap us pe dal rahe ho wo reflect karega matlab bounce back karega into the same medium jo hai air so that phenomenon is called as reflection then there are two kinds of reflection or two types of reflection first is a specular or a regular reflection so as you can see here in the picture the surface here in the first diagram is a plane of smooth and a polished surface that means if rays of light which are parallel to each other so you can see here all these rays are parallel to each other they are incident incident matlab agar wo plane surface pe aate hain smooth surface pe padte hain to kya hone wala hai they are all reflecting that means jab wo wapas ja rahe hain they are still remaining parallel because surface is smooth so this kind of reflection we say is a regular reflection or a specular reflection then the next one is a diffuse reflection as you all can see the surface here is very rough hai na us pe kafi irregularities aapko dikh rahi hai to is case mein agar main parallel beam of light incident karti hu to ye jaise ki taisa parallel reflect nahi karega parallelly bounce back nahi karega why because the angles at which they are getting incident are different so definitely their angles of reflection are going to be different so they are not going to remain parallel after reflection so that kind of a reflection is called diffuse reflection or irregular reflection it happens in case of only the irregular surfaces matlab apna koi bhi table hai wall hai all these are rough surface they are not as polished and smooth surface so in se jo bhi hoti hai wo reflection hoti hai diffuse reflection और इरेगुलर रिफ्लेक्शन सो वेन वी आर एबल टू सी थिंग्स अराउंड अस है ना जो हमें टेबल है वॉल है बॉटल्स है एनीथिंग दैट वी आर एबल टू सी इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ द डिफ्यूज रिफ्लेक्शन दैट वी आर एबल टू मेक आउट व्हाट ऑब्जेक्ट इज देयर इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस सो बोथ द रिफ्लेक्शंस आर इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस सो दीस आर द लॉज ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन यस सो इन अ पर्टिकुलर रिफ्लेक्शन सेटअप इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट देयर विल बी अ मिरर yes which is a reflecting surface a mirror or a reflecting uh, surface now when any ray of light is coming towards the mirror we say it is the incident ray the one which is going back into the medium we say that is reflected ray and there is always going to be a normal which is perpendicular to the surface of the mirror or the uh, the uh, i would say the reflecting surface so that is called as normal so this is our normal here then the laws of reflection there are two laws of reflection first says the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal they all lie in the same plane so if i'm trying to draw a diagram like this i can see that the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal they all lie in the same plane that is our first law then the second law says the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection so when we are talking about the angle of incidence or angle of reflection we are always referring to or measuring the angle with respect to the नॉर्मल तो ये हो गया हमारा एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस आई एंड ये हो गया हमारा एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन आर सो द लॉस इज द एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस आई इज ऑलवेज इक्वल टू एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन आर सो आई कैन इवन राइट एंगल आई इज इक्वल टू एंगल आर दैट गिव्स माय सेकंड लॉ ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू 
then we can move on to the next topic. These spherical mirrors. You all must have seen spherical mirrors. Kahi na kahi pe. Yes, most common example is aapne dekha hoga, parking lot se bahar nikalne ke time. Hai na? Ek, ek mirror hai, which is a spherical one, which is bulging outwards. Now, what kind of mirror that is? We will see now. There are two types of spherical mirrors. Spherical kya hota hai? Spherical is a spear. Imagine a spear. And if you're cutting that spear into two parts, so a part reta hai jo curb, uh, which is curved inside and the one which is curved outside. Now, something similar to this is here. If you cut a spear in two parts, you will get one part which is curved outside. So, aapka reflecting surface, when it is curved outside, we say that is the convex mirror. And jo silvering hoti hai, jo opaque side hota hai, that has been made on the back side. So, that is silvering on the curved part which is inside but the reflecting surface is outside we say that is a concave mirror and when we are talking about a reflecting surface being inwards jo reflecting surface hota hai wo andar wala part agar hota hai to hum usko bolte hain concave mirror so these are the two kinds of mirror concave mirror and convex mirror so yahan se dekh sakte hai detail yes see you can clearly see the reflecting surface is curved inside so inside part is my reflecting surface that is called as concave mirror now that is also called as a converging mirror what could be the reason so here if you see the rays of light which are coming from infinity so some object is kept at infinity which is very far from the mirror the rays are coming parallel you can see it in this diagram here the rays are coming parallel to each other and if you see all the reflected rays you know, after hitting the mirror, they are all converging or intersecting at one point. Yes, they're all converging. That means they're coming together. So, as they are in a straight line, parallel to the principal axis, but after reflection, they're all converging or intersect. That is why we say the concave mirrors are converging mirror. Yes, so this is the definition of concave mirror and why are they called as converging mirrors? The next type of mirror is a convex mirror. Convex mirror, as I've explained, the reflecting surface is curved outside, right? So the reflecting surface is curved outside and silvering is done on the inside curve. So peach is a silvering here or aapka jo outward bulge hai, usme reflecting surface hai. So ye ho gaya aapka convex mirror. Now imagine why this could have been called as a diverging mirror. Same logic here also we apply. Parallel rays are coming from infinity. And you all see, observe here, what is happening to these rays once they are reflecting. So, mirror pe aaye, reflect kiya. Now, if you see the directions, are they coming together at any point? No. They are going away from each other after reflection. But if I trace the rays backwards, it appears to be starting from. If I have taken them back, I extend them back. Then I can see that they are starting from a point called as focus, which is behind the mirror. So we say they appear to diverge. So in convex mirror, they appear to diverge from the focus of a convex mirror. So rays, because after reflection, are going away from each other, we say this kind of a mirror is a diverging mirror. I hope this much part was very helpful to you. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.